Good morning, folks. Happy Wednesday. Uh, about to ship out this job and wanted to just show it off. I was really happy with how these turned out. Uh, one inch by 12 threads. Turned these on the Tormach lathe with no tail stock, which is obviously um, really not how you should do it, but that's, uh, that's the task at hand is to do stuff um, with the tools you got. Uh, but they look great. These custom spacer threaded things turned great. We'll actually do a video on this showing how we kind of did it. Had a machine a slot in there, drill that hole, set of four with these uh, board out spacers as well. And here's a little sneak preview for the folks uh, following chip break. Um, super happy with it. Um, I think it looks great. I think Adam's going to be really happy. Um, you, the, the comments on the Rough and Ream episode today were really awesome. Like, I really appreciate that you guys like seeing when we make mistakes and how you fix it and go forward. Um, one of the things that, or two things that we goofed on, I, I don't, still can't figure this out. There's these little things here. We'll, we'll, I'll try to figure it out when we publish the videos and talk more about it. it won't matter. It just obviously really bothers me that those little marks are there. And then I didn't realize it when we did our final um, profiling op. I left a little lip down here. So I just got to throw it back in the machine and fix that. Well, I wanted to show you too. We built some of the... Uh, we built some, I think they're kind of cool targets for um, USPSA. They're like a disappearing target, so a clamshell um, or a snapper, they sometimes call them. So the idea is you shoot a piece of steel, and when you shoot a piece of steel, it pulls this lever that I'm about to push, and it presents this brown target, and you have so many seconds to shoot that, actually not much at all, before this white target, um, it's white on the front side, pops up and blocks the brown target. So shoot the steel, pop this, comes up, and boom. It doesn't flop around like that when it's staked down, but kind of a cool mechanism. Um, we built this, here, I'll do this one-handed here, in um, Fusion 360, and that's what was, I thought was really cool, is we didn't get it perfectly right on the first time, but all we had to do was move, you just play with some hole locations and then play with the gas springs, and, uh, and we got her, so. Kind of cool, right? We're cleaning up today. Our Actually, our insurance company is coming by, and that's something I would like to talk more about with you guys. We, we've learned a lot, and um, it's, it's, it's been frustrating. Um, you know, insurance is a good thing, and it has its role, but in my opinion, when they want an out in, every, <laughs> in any which way, it's not worth anything. You know, I'm not gonna pay for coverage if I think um, they've got, you know, so one of the things they're debating on is whether we can make stuff where we help with the design or whether it needs to basically be a completely proven out print. Um, and I understand it. It's not that I'm not sympathetic to their point, but um, you know, we do a lot of work, kind of a weird company. You know, we do training, we do videos, we do prototyping, we make some of our own products and I'm uh, trying to figure that out. So I think we'll learn a lot. I'm actually glad they're coming by today. I kind of want to meet them and show them a shop and show them what we do. Um, I wanted to mention, um, okay, so yeah, the next thing I wanted to mention, we had a lot of folks ask, you know, for more videos about the business side, which is something I love. You know, how do you get started? How do you bring work in? Um, how do you run the business? And in many respects, I feel like, we're just getting started. Partly just because this wasn't my full-time thing until a year, year and a half ago. And between the farm shop and the temporary shop, um, well, now we're settled in. We're in our real shop. It's time to go. So I certainly have some experience and background. I kind of have a business background before the machine shop life. So I'm excited to share that and, and talk about it. And we're, we're different. Our story isn't gonna be applicable to everybody's, but there's certainly some good good lessons and business ethics and practices and, and lessons learned. And before we get into that, and so I think we're gonna do it in these chip breaks because I love these, it's super fun. Um, I wanna mention a book and that book is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And um, I read it once in high school or college and it didn't, uh, it just didn't click with me. And then I reread it, mm, I don't know when, but maybe, well, about eight or nine years ago, and it just clicked. And we'll talk more about it in some future videos, but there's a lot to me, it, it really explained, people do things for reasons. And one of the things that always stood out to me is very few people argue 
for the sake of arguing. Like seriously, some people are bullies or, or want to be difficult, but most people have a point of view. And at the end of the day, you get things solved by understanding their point of view. And that's everything from um, negotiations and business transactions and to working with customers and, and correspondence, it, everything. Um, the other big takeaway is um, people love to hear themselves talk. So if you want to um, do well, talk, you know, talk, you talk less, listen more. It's, it's one way that I've learned um, so much is trying to, when I, when I, you know, seriously, like when I had the chance to meet Tom Lipton last year for the first time, I, I just, um, I had no interest in talking about my achievements. I, I just wanted to hear anything that guy could tell me um, and trying to take advantage of stuff like that. There's more to it in the book, but it's really been a foundation for me. And I'm not one of those, you know, self-help guys. I'm not one of those big, this book is the key to your future and the, it unlocks all the secrets. I just, um, that book has been, uh, it, was a, it was a game changer for me. So I would really encourage you uh, to read that book. If you wanna read it and support our channel, there's a link in the video description to buy it from Amazon. It doesn't cost you a dime and we get a few bucks, and probably not even, but um, we would appreciate that. And lastly, kind of for fun, I wanted to show off, um, we have a new tool slash toy, which is we bought a GoPro gimbal for these episodes. So we'll see, um, I'm testing the audio out on it. If, if this audio is no good, We'll do future ones with a plug-in mic, but this is what's cool. So take a look, isn't that awesome? Right, I think I have it in a different mode here. So now it should be totally steady. Isn't that awesome? Woo! Um, really cool. So hopefully that makes these chip breaks better. I was also thinking, you know, gosh, it would be so helpful to have this when we did things like touring Brian's shop and we've got some other shop tours coming up. So I'm, I'm hopeful this thing turns out well. Otherwise, folks, take care, see you soon.